one of the big values in the 60s was egalitarianism, that there should not be any uh, artificial barriers to people's participation in, in society, whether that's in terms of education or employment um, or uh, really any aspect of it. Now, technology was not, especially computers, egalitarian in that sense, because in order to play pre-personal computer, you had to have a lot of capital, and you had to form a relationship with IBM or whatever company, uh, get a license to do business with them. And the whole economic basis of innovation in high-tech changed with the PC. Ground rules changed completely. You didn't have to get permission anymore from IBM to do a product. You bought the reference manual, and you went, and you coded the thing up, and you duplicated diskettes on your own machine, and you put the product in little plastic baggies, and you took out a mail-order ad, and you saw if anybody bought it. And if they did, you could be successful. You didn't have to have a diploma. You didn't have to have a degree. It was very egalitarian, and intentionally so. I thought that that was important. So did the people who founded Apple. So did virtually all of the people in the early days of, of personal computers. They said it was like, let a thousand flowers bloom. Let people try things. Some things will work. Some things won't work. There are a lot of very bad ideas. But there's at least rough justice in the marketplace. It was clear that also, that people, customers, end users, wanted uh, computers that they could use themselves. So take your typical corporation, pre-PC. If you wanted to get anything done on a computer, you had to go to the MIS department, Management Information Systems, and they would tell you, well, there's a two-year backlog before we can service your application. When the Apple II came out with uh, VisiCalc, the first spreadsheet, people went out, they bought it themselves. They called it office equipment on their expense report to sneak it into the corporation. And they worked nights and weekends to uh, use the spreadsheet to do their financial modeling. And they cut that two-year backlog to two weeks. And they did it themselves. And they got what they wanted. And as a result of all this great technology, which has now spread to desktop publishing and lots of other things, there's been an enormous explosion in small businesses, in startups. I don't think anybody has really paid serious attention to this yet in, in the press. But how many people have, quote, their project and their day job? And their day job is something that they punch in and punch out. And their project is a little business or activity. It may be non-commercial. It may be commercial. They do nights and weekends that they're really excited about, that they're passionate about, that is making a difference. And they're using all of this personal computer technology to do it. So this idea of individual empowerment, that's actually, that's worked.